Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. Today's featured product is Story Builder by Everlaw. And tell us about it. I'm joined by product lead, Kevin Kraft. Kevin, welcome and tell us a little bit about Everlaw and about Story Builder. Hi, Bob, absolutely. Well, Everlaw is a collaborative litigation platform that lets you uh, discover, illuminate, and act on hidden data at scale. And Story Builder by Everlaw is focused on that act piece. It lets you build collaborative narratives in a secure cloud-based platform to build out timelines of the key events in your case, to prepare drafts and depositions, and really prepare all the way towards trial with those most important documents in your case. It's built for legal teams, and it's it's all meant to be one secure digital platform, and it's free. Um, Story Builder is something we've been working on for years, and of course is uh, integrated with the core Everlaw platform, but we've made Story Builder by Everlaw available as a standalone uh, offering to you. So excited to show it today, and thanks for the opportunity, Bob. Great, and so this is really focused on litigators on that sort of post-discovery uh, stage as they're preparing for depositions, preparing for trial, is that right? That's exactly right. It's primarily a tool for that final hurdle as you're preparing for litigation. You've already gone through the e-discovery motion. Um, that's what a full Everlaw platform's for. And now, um, no matter where the documents are coming from, you're bringing forward those most important hot documents where you know that you need to analyze it comprehensively. And so you, you put it in a tool like this to build a timeline to prepare deposition questions, et cetera. And to put together my story. That's the name, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, great. Well, show us how it works. All right. Well, I will dive right in. So the first thing you see when you uh, land on your project in Story Builder by Everlaw is the dashboard. This is a place where you're seeing the high level info of what's happening in your matter and also easy, quick access to the core tools you'll be using like timelines, depositions, and drafts. So some of the things we're seeing on the screen right now include upcoming events and depositions that might be on the calendar so you can jump right to them, uh, tasks that you can assign out uh, to different folks and different uh, depositions. You can check those tasks off and you can see the overall uh, sort of histogram of the dates or documents that are in your timeline. So I can drag and draw uh, across here to focus in and drill down on just a particular year that I'm interested in. And with that, we'll jump right over to the timeline view of just those documents. So now what you're looking at is Story Builder by Everlaw's timeline. This is uh, meant to be the central uh, collaborative place where uh, siloed knowledge comes together. So all documents here can be labeled. You add description and relevance to each document. And um, those labels, as different teams add them, are things you can drill down to. So you can look at just the documents related to damages or just those related to fraud, which might be uh, different attorneys working on that particular legal theory but we want to be able to pull back and see the big picture here or zoom in to see what a particular team is working on to or a particular witness you might be preparing for. Can, we, can I just ask, how, how, am, how are you getting documents into here? Where, where, where can I bring them in from? Sure, we've worked hard to make that piece easy. Um, of course, Story Builder is an integrated piece of the Everlaw platform. If you are using Everlaw for your e-discovery, uh, tool, but you can upload documents from anywhere. Um, you can bring in a whole production or a whole export uh, if you do have a load file and want to bring in document metadata. But if you just have a set of PDFs, it's a, just a drag and drop process to bring in those documents uh, and their bait numbers. And you can be off to the races right away. Great. And those documents land right in your timeline. If you have metadata for them, they're already in order. If you don't, you can always edit and, and add document dates as you review those documents and understand, okay, uh, when was this document? Why is it important? 
And any place where you're adding information to a document, like here I'm, I can edit the description, that information is available wherever you reference and see that document. So no more you know, copying and pasting bait numbers from place to place and hunting around for which version of something is in which binder. If someone edits a document here um, and name, changes the name, that is uh, brought forward across what everyone's seeing, whether that be in a deposition, a draft, et cetera. When you're talking about everyone, uh, who can you collaborate with on here? Um, whoever you need to. So each story builder project, which you're allowed to own up to Vive, you can invite uh, up to 200 of your colleagues to. Um, so that can be, you know, paralegal, associate, a, a partner to see work product, you, you have the flexibility to invite your whole team to this space. And of course, export things out if you do need to display that work product elsewhere. So um, let's look for a particular document and we can of course search by the content of documents and we have what we previously renamed the bait number here to smoking gun. We still have that bait number, but we gave it something memorable so we can jump to it. Uh, let's add that document to a draft and show what uh, drafts look like. And actually I can see this is already in the witness uh, deposition prep draft I want to jump to. Uh, so let's jump right to it. Drafts in Story Builder by Everlaw is a place where you have the flexibility to write out what you need and a place within that document references. So instead of you know, writing a bait number and then having to go look that up, each is a, a document object that brings forward that description and relevance information, those labels and editing it here is editing it back in the timeline too. So we can just drag and drop things in. Drafts can be used for a lot of purposes. Um, they can be uh, review protocols, they can be deposition prep uh, documents where you're outlining your questions, they could be a case strategy document, anything where you need to uh, have a factual analysis that includes references to specific pieces of evidence. Part of what we've tried to do here is make uh, this sort of work much more efficient. Um, a lot of attorneys' time is spent hunting around for a document or trying to export something in a particular way. And we want to make sure that you're focused on legal work and analyzing the facts and telling the story of your case. So, for example, um, you can just type in a Bates number here and it automatically turns into a document reference if that's a Bates number in your case. And another example, you can export this out as a PDF with images. And I just did that export right now and we can jump to what we just created and it has those same hyperlinks to the documents that were in our draft they're brought forward into this uh, pdf of documents we exported so we can jump to that document in our export if we are offline all right and so and so if i'm sitting in a deposition somewhere in, in a conference room back if, if we ever do that again, uh, sit in live <laughs> conference rooms and uh, I'm offline, uh, but I've got this PDF, I'll be able to access all the documents that are referenced within it. Exactly. And so you still have all of your questions and those document references aren't something you have to pull up separately. You can just click on it and you're at the right page of uh, your export. Really useful. And, and when I'm in this draft view, uh, how easy it is, is it to, to jump into one of the, the documents that I've referenced there. Sure, it's just a matter of clicking on the document and then clicking on this eye icon to uh, preview it and you're there. And while you're there, you can still edit the information in that uh, panel that is brought forward to everywhere. You can add a label, let's add the damages label here. Um, you can rename the document. And that is something that is reflect in real time for everyone else in your case that, that's working on this too. Mm -hmm. One other piece um, that can take up a lot of time of legal teams is getting that deposition prep binder right. So when you're building that witness kit, when you're building a set of documents to bring into the de deposition, you don't have to uh, have that be a separate manual process that you're doing late at night the night before. It's just jump to exhibits, and you're now looking at an exhibit list view um, for that deposition prep binder. And you can publish that to PDF, 
have that uh, clean copy for opposing counsel, uh, a copy with all of your highlights and review work if you need it. And um, instead of having to swap out a document and having that be a pain, you just add a document in here, publish it again, and every the numbers are updated, you know exactly where everything is. So I've just shown you Story Builder drafts. I now wanna show you Story Builder depositions, which you can of course import a draft to a deposition, but it has some more functionality to support the real time work um, in a deposition in the moment. So you're still seeing the, that list of questions here, but we have a timer that's showing you that the moment of a deposition and, and where you are so that um, as you work, you know exactly um, when to look up something later in the transcript. We of course have uh, keyboard shortcuts throughout Everlaw, but um, we have an ability to just insert a timestamp so that you know, okay, this happened at a particular uh, moment in time on your timeline here uh, on right. your uh, when to look it up in your transcript we also right. so, have so either i as as the as the attorney in the deposition or some member of my team who's watching uh can do that i assume exactly so something really juicy just happened and you need that information right away uh, hit command m on a mac and and now i have uh, that can describe what i'm looking for as soon as i get that uh information from the court reporter it's fantastic and that information is uh, also available over here in chat. Everything I say here um, to my colleagues is uh, stamped with those same timestamps. So you can make sense of them later, but it also is just nice to not have to pass post-its uh, to your colleagues. You have a place where you can all look to communicate real time uh, and, and have that tracked in one place later. Another thing that's uh, different about drafts and depositions, as you can see, the official actual marked by re court reporter uh, exhibit numbers here. So that these dark numbers here, um, and, and as you go through, you can note, okay, this document did end up actually becoming exhibit two, exhibit three. And um, when you upload a transcript to Everlaw uh, for that deposition, every time someone says exhibit two, exhibit three, that becomes a hyperlink to back to that document if you've been keeping track of your exhibits. We also have a way to, uh, a place to add a summary of each uh, deposition so that you don't need to lose that information in email or, or uh, siloed somewhere else as a central place to track and understand all of that. And um, a few pieces of our functionality with transcripts that I wanna show you is just how um, you integrate important information from your transcripts to uh, the broader team and your broader story. Once you've uploaded a transcript for a deposition, uh, you can highlight it, of course, but you can also um, take one of these highlights and elevate it to testimony by adding it to your story. Once you're looking at the story details, you can still add description, relevance, labels, and treat uh, this just like a document that will carry forward with its um, citation information and whenever you're working with any of this you can copy some this directly to somewhere else and that will include the citation information um, so it's faster and easier to be working with uh, a brief offline or wherever you need that information to be yeah, it just cuts out all that cross-referencing and, and shuffling between documents that that uh, we spend so much time doing. Exactly, that that's our hope, and you know, there's a lot of time spent getting their citations right. So this hopefully gives you a a, a head start in that work, and 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 just makes you more efficient to focus on the actual legal and factual work of your case. So that is Story Builder by Everlaw. We, uh, this is again a free product that is available right now. Uh, you just have to go to uh, everlaw.com slash story builder and sign up and invite your team. So Kevin, I have to ask, it's a free product. What are, what are the limits on that? Well, uh, you, you can only own five projects at a time and each project you can 
you can be invited to as many as you'd like, but you can only have about two, a team of 200 on a particular project. Hopefully that's a large enough uh, a team to, to handle the timeline and, and building the core story of your case. There's also some uh, document size and a number of restrictions, but they, they should be enough to allow you plenty of room to uh, hone in on the core story of your case. Well, it looks great, and uh, I really appreciate uh, your sharing it with us today. Good to good to talk to you, Kevin. Great, thanks so much, Bob, and uh, take care. All right, that's it. Uh, that was Story Builder by Everlaw, and uh, that's it for this episode of How It Works. Find uh, all of the episodes at lawsitesblog.com. This is Bob Ambrogi. Thanks for watching. <laughs>